Toyota signals a big U-turn on electric vehicles with a major geographical shift. Toyota executive says higher EV demand could prompt US output. When demand for electric vehicles is there, we will build it, sales chief says. Toyota sales chief Bob Carter also criticized proposed subsidies for local production. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle news and like this video if you find it informative. Chester Dawson has the details of Toyota's EV U-turn, writing in Bloomberg that Toyota Motor Corporation may shift electric vehicle production to the United States if demand continues to grow, a top executive said. The latest sign that the Japanese carmaker Toyota is joining peers in embracing the electric vehicle technology. Toyota would consider production at an existing or new factory in the United States in response, in response to a sustained increase in American consumers' appetite for battery-powered vehicles. Bob Carter, the company's executive vice president for sales in the United States, said in an interview Wednesday. When the consumer demand is there, when the business model is there, we will build it, he said. The automaker also has no current plans to invest in the US EV production, he said, and he didn't specify when sales threshold would justify such a move. Industry-wide supply chain issues, including a shortage of lithium-ion batteries, needed to be resolved before Toyota could mull a decision on building electric vehicles in the United States, he said. Carter, the carmaker's top U.S. sales executive, made the comments on the sideline of a media event in its North American headquarters outside Dallas. Toyota unveiled several new or refreshed products, including a crossover version of its popular Corolla compact sedan. While the company has gas-electric hybrid version of many of its bestsellers, the Corolla Cross will debut as a gasoline-only model in the United States. The company announced earlier this year that it will introduce two electric vehicles, all electric vehicles in the United States starting in 2022 a Toyota crossover called the BZ4X and an all as yet an unnamed Lexus model built on the same platform. The two vehicles, both of which will be made in Japan, come as Toyota races to catch up with rivals in the small but fast-growing electric vehicle market. The Biden administration has encouraged the auto industry to sell more EVs as part of a broader environmental age agenda to reduce carbon emissions. The White House also has championed U.S. manufacturing in plants whose workers, plants whose workers are are represented by organized laborers. Some U.S. lawmakers, such as Democratic Senator Debbie Stabno of Michigan, are pushing for increased government subsidies to make it more affordable to buy battery-powered vehicles. They are also seeking financial incentives for electric vehicles that are made in the United States with unionized labor. Buyers of vehicles made by companies such as Toyota that operate non-union plants and which import all electric EVs would be excluded from accessing the full subsidiary. Now, misguided policy. Policies favoring certain automakers are misguided, Carter said, because they distort the market and become a distraction from the longer-term aim of eliminating carbon emissions. When you start adding location of manufacturing or even who manufactures, you're straying way off way what the end game is, he said. The one that should pick the winners and losers is the consumer. Toyota has set a relatively modest goal for all electric or fuel cell powered vehicles to make up 15% of total US sales by 2030. Ford Motor Corporation has targeted 40% by the end of this decade, while General Motors has pledged to sell only electric vehicles by 2035. 
Carter defended Toyota's approach to electrification, which leans heavily on sales of standard hybrid and plug-in hybrid vehicles, saying consumers have been cautious about making the jump to battery electric vehicles. The battery electric vehicles is still largely an incremental vehicle in the garage, he said. The move to start sales of EVs marks something of a U-turn for Toyota. The carmaker withdrew from EVs in the US seven years ago when it stopped producing an all-electric version of its best-selling RAV4 crossover sport utility vehicle. Like most other car producing nations, electric vehicles fever has finally hit Japan in earnest. Last year, Honda launched its first EV ever EV, the tiny, quirky, yet aptly named Honda E, while Mazda also debuted the smart-looking MX-30, its first electric crossover, and from last 2021 through 2022, things are hotting up. In the second half of this year, we can expect to see first-ever EVs from the likes of Toyota and Subaru break cover, with production version arriving in the United States by mid-2022. Meanwhile, Nissan's Aria, the brand's first-ever electric SUV, will land in showrooms starting with Japan and Europe, followed by the US in early 2022. Toyota's BZ4X electric crossover is similar in size to the RAV4 and will be followed by more EVs including a pickup truck. This vehicle will be the first of Toyota's new Beyond Zero EVs to arrive next year. It's built on the Toyota and Subaru co-developed electric platform which employs a dual motor all-wheel drive powertrain, according to Japan's number one car maker, there will be 15 new Toyota EVs by 2025, with seven to carry the BZ name. Incorporating similar architecture and powertrain to the BZ4X, uh, the Subaru electric crossover will be called the Solterra, a name that comes from the Latin words for sun and earth. Expect to see that vehicle to debut by the beginning of winter and land in showrooms after spring 2022. Head of Toyota and Lexus Global Design Simon Humphries says the BZ4X concept will offer an EV experience without compromise, an experience which looks forward to an era where sensors are more important than the traditional radiator grille. The cockpit provides a new driver interface with the adaptive steer-by-wire grip, while a new level of connectivity makes the driver feel equally connected to both car, road, and information. The BZ4X concept is similar in shape and size to the RAV4, but with a lower, wider stance, highlighted edges, and sharp, futuristic styling. The interior, however, is more current than Toyota, with a race car-like steering wheel mounted onto a bulky, prominent steering column and digital gauges positioned a long way behind the steering wheel. The large touchscreen fitted to the center console is reminiscent of the industry's latest large flat-screen monitors. We should know more about the BZ4X soon, but expect the production version to wear a sticker price hovering around $40,000 given the plug-in hybrid RAV4 Prime starts at $39,000. Let me know your thoughts on Toyota signaling this major U-turn on shifting the electric vehicle production to the United States. Please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle, Toyotas, Tesla and other electric vehicle news and give us thumbs up please if you found this report uh, informative. Have a great day. God bless you everyone and peace be with all of you.